Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of uh, Preaching to the Choir Ministries. And um, right now I'm heading from North. I think I'm uh, still in North right now, heading to Kearney. I'm going to Jersey City. You can see the Freedom Tower over there. The newly rebuilt, the, the newly built uh, Freedom Tower. And I just want to talk about something that I experienced last night in Nadia's uh, hangout. Um, on my bike again. I'm not going to be killed, guys. There are guardrails here. <laughs> I'm all right. <laughs> but um, I met this atheist by the name of Axion. Let me say that again in case you guys didn't hear me. It's very loud out here. I met this atheist named uh, Axion. <laughs> oh, my God, man. I don't know if this guy's new to YouTube or what, but he's definitely new to talking to me. So anyway, um, I asked him, why was he an atheist? Okay, and I want to like his personal story because you, you guys should know by now I don't believe that you guys care about evidence. Just my opinion after talking to you guys for the last couple of years. So the first thing he said to me was that he saw that the harm religion causes in society. Now, I want to think about that for a minute because I would agree with him that you have certain religions out there that is doing more harm than good in society. And I can name the religions if possible. By the way, guys, we, it's, it's, we might run into the Bible thumping wing up because if he still has that trucking job, he may actually end up on this road. This is one of his routes here. But anyway, uh, probably shouldn't have said that. But, <laughs> but anyway, yeah, uh, there are religions out there that is harmful to society. And I would like to see them go personally as well. Uh, one of them happens to be uh, uh, Islam. Uh, but we'll get into that another day. Um, so anyway, yeah, he said that he became an atheist because of the harm that he saw in society. Uh, because of religion. But that's not evidence for the non-existence of God. Let me say this again. That's not evidence for the non-existence of God. That's an opinion that he formed by looking at the religions of the world and he came to the conclusion, like, wow, religion is harmful. At the very best, all you can do is say that God is immoral. You can build an argument and you can say that God is immoral, but you cannot build an argument using logic and reasoning and say that God does not exist because uh, religion is harmful to society. That's the stupidest thing I ever heard. Actually, not really. Because the second thing that he said is that he doesn't see any evidence for God. No one's ever shown any evidence for God. And you know, that's one of the most annoying things that I hear the atheists say on YouTube. And I'll tell you why. Number one, who exactly is the people who have not been shown evidence for the existence of God? It certainly ain't me. I don't make that claim. Beckel doesn't make that claim. The Bible thumping Weenut doesn't make that claim. Matt Slick doesn't make that claim. GM Nice doesn't make that claim. None of us make that claim that there is no evidence for God because we would have to deny what it says in Romans chapter 1. So, who is he talking about? He has to be talking about himself. So, if he's talking about himself, then you gotta wonder, did he ever hear the presuppositional argument? Has he ever uh, heard or answered prayer? Has he ever heard the cosmological argument? Has he ever um, heard intelligent design or the other arguments out there for the existence of God? Or for how Christianity accounts for morality way better than the secular world does? I mean, think about that for a minute. There's a ton of arguments for God. There's evidence for God in science. But when you're lying to yourself every single day and being told, you know, I don't see any reason to believe in God, that's not true. You're lying when you say that. And if for those of you who, who encounter atheists as often as I do, and they've ever said to you, you know, that there's, um, there's no evidence, I have not been shown adequate evidence, that's not true. You have been shown adequate evidence. Not to mention, I took the time out to explain to him that we do have a model to see if God exists, and it's called faith. Now, I, 
bring this up because I love how atheists talk about harm. Okay, they love talking about harm and how religion harms society. But they never, ever, ever talk about when we had a society, a communist society, where Joseph Stalin was in charge and killed religious people because he didn't believe that God existed. And the numbers is up there like between 25 and 30 million people, religious people that were killed because he thought that there was no God. Couldn't present any evidence, but because of his own uh, religious uh, 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 um, points of view that there wasn't no God, he felt the need to kill people who did believe in God. He didn't want that to be in his Russia. Tore down churches, disrespected people's beliefs. So if you're going to talk about harm, my friend, first and foremost, look at your belief system first, then talk about Christianity. So that's number one. Uh, number two, why is it that atheists always look at statistics when it comes to how atheism is growing or how religion is harming people or all those other things? It's perfectly okay for them to use statistics for that. But they don't want to deal with statistics when it comes to how many Christians are in the world or how many theists in the world versus atheists. One of my favorite things I like to remind the atheists all the time on G Plus is, is that we outnumber them, what, 500 to 1? And I think I'm being generous there. I think we outnumber them 1,000 or 3,000 to 1. That is how bad it is for them. Okay? The population of atheists on the earth is very, very low. And to be honest, I think they're going to be the reason why we have a holy war. I think the atheist community is going to be the reason why there's going to be a holy war because they do not respect other people's beliefs. Now, here's the thing now, guys. Um, Exion, like many other atheists out there, don't have a reason to be an atheist. They have reasons to be mad at God. According to their arguments, they have reasons to believe that he's immoral, but they don't got a reason for him not to be real. This is why we constantly say, guys, that you are suppressing the truth in unrighteousness. You are deliberately lying to yourself to convince yourself that God is not real. And you've been doing it so long that, that your conscience has become callous to the fact that you've been lying to yourself year after year month after month, day after day, lying to yourself, claiming that no evidence has been presented to you whatsoever for the existence of God. Did you know, for example, that if you believe that God exists, that does not make you a Christian? I bet you didn't know that. It would just make you a theist. But a lot of you are just seem to be scared to, to acknowledge the fact that there's something out there smarter than you, greater than you, more awesome than you. The truth is right in front of your face, guys. You need to just accept it. YouTube atheism has turned evolution into a religion. YouTube atheism, getting off my bike here, I'm gonna walk here a little bit. YouTube atheism has turned atheism into a religion. YouTube atheism has turned anti-theism into a religion. YouTube atheism has turned evolution and science and all this stuff into a religion they will defend it to their dying breath just so that they don't have to acknowledge a god so i just wanted to point that out exion uh, brought on this thought for me as i was coming out here today seriously guys why are you atheists you talk about how how our testimonies as christians is not valid evidence for our belief but we're supposed to accept your evidence in a form of testimony that God isn't real? I mean, seriously, guys, you guys listen to the words that's coming out of your mouths in these Google Hangouts, because I don't think you do. If we can't give a testimony, then neither can you. You have to present evidence or proof that God ain't real. And the last time I checked, your scoreboard read zero. And you don't have deadly squat to prove that there is no God. You can't prove that God isn't real. Then again, there is a Freedom Tower, guys. I'm going to try to... There we go. <laughs> um, you got no proof that God isn't real. None whatsoever. So stop talking to me as if that's a fact when it ain't. You think God ain't real. You, 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 you have a hunch he ain't real. But don't talk to me as if you have scientific evidence as if he isn't real. And we present evidence to you guys all the time. 
You're lying to yourselves every time you say we don't. And we know this. And if you're a Christian and you're encountering, or encountering an atheist and they tell you that the burden of proof is on a person making a claim, you make sure you repeat these words right back to them. Especially if they say this to you outside of YouTube. You say to them, it is a positive claim to say that God is not real. The moment they start criticizing him and calling him immoral, they are acknowledging the fact that he is real. Atheists are some of the easiest people to debunk on YouTube. It's just that simple. And until next time, guys, this has been another edition of uh, Preaching to the Choir Ministry, telling all of you out there to read your Bible and do what it says. God bless.